In the Pacific Northwest of the United States, the state of Washington has built the world's longest floating bridge, stretching an incredible 2,350 meters. This engineering marvel not only withstands wind speeds of up to 160 kilometers per hour, but has officially been declared a smart bridge, equipped with advanced sensors and monitoring systems to ensure long-term structural integrity. This floating wonder rests on 77 massive pontoons, each weighing an astonishing 11,000 tons, the combined weight of over 120,000 elephants. <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? But this isn't any ordinary bridge. Unlike traditional infrastructure, it floats on water, defying the challenges posed by Lake Washington's deep waters and unstable lake bed. But here's the real kicker. This massive bridge doesn't merely float, it moves with the waves and wind, all while staying rock solid. Inside its giant pontoons, high-tech sensors that can detect leaks at the slightest hint of danger. This isn't just engineering, it's a bridge that thinks ahead. How does it do it, and what incredible technology keeps it afloat for decades without a hitch? Hey everyone, it's Jerry. Today we're taking a deep dive into Washington's groundbreaking engineering marvel. We'll uncover the cutting-edge technology, the obstacles it faced, and what sets it apart as a global standard in infrastructure. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Let's get started. Lake Washington, a vast, freshwater expanse stretching 29 kilometers, posed a formidable test for engineers tasked with building a bridge across it. Beneath its surface, waters plummet to depths exceeding 60 meters. But the real challenge lies further below, a treacherous bed of soft clay and mud stretching an additional 30 to 60 meters. This unstable, shifting lake bed ruled out conventional approaches like deep foundations or pilings, which are essential for traditional bridge construction. And that wasn't all. The lake sits in the heart of the seismically active Pacific Northwest, where earthquakes and frequent storms are a constant threat. Engineers had to design a structure capable of withstanding not only the geological instability, but also the relentless forces of wind and waves. High winds, especially during storms, amplified the risk, making a traditional bridge even more vulnerable to failure. How could they create a structure that could endure such unforgiving conditions? In 1963, the original Evergreen Point floating bridge offered an answer, at least for a time. This engineering marvel provided a direct route across the lake, connecting communities and reducing travel times. But despite its innovation, the bridge had its flaws. With just four lanes and no shoulders, it was prone to severe congestion during accidents or emergencies. Storms frequently forced closures when winds exceeded 56 to 64 kilometers per hour, and as decades passed, the bridge began to show its age. Leaks formed in its pontoons, Dospawn anchors weakened, and it became clear the structure couldn't withstand modern seismic or weather challenges. By the 1990s, it was evident that the original bridge needed to be replaced. The floating bridge concept, while innovative, required advancements to address these limitations. The solution came with the design of a new, stronger bridge, capable of withstanding the region's environmental challenges while meeting growing transportation demands. But what exactly were these transportation demands, and how did the lack of a direct connection across Lake Washington affect daily life? Before the bridge, communities faced significant delays traveling around Lake Washington. To connect Seattle with its eastern suburbs, drivers had to take the long, circuitous route around the lake, which could take up to two hours during peak traffic. The lack of a direct connection severely limited mobility and created a bottleneck for economic development in the growing region. The completion of the Evergreen Point floating bridge transformed this arduous journey into a swift, efficient commute. Crossing the lake now takes only 13 to 16 minutes, cutting travel time by over 90%. This remarkable reduction not only saved hours of daily commuting for thousands of drivers, but also revitalized the area, facilitating easier access to jobs, education, and services. The bridge has since become an indispensable part of the region's infrastructure. 
So, what keeps a 2,350 meter long bridge floating serenely across a lake? The answer lies in the ingenious design of its 77 colossal concrete pontoons, the unsung heroes of this marvel. <laughs> but how can something so massive stay afloat? Let's break it down. Picture a basketball floating in a pool. It stays on the surface because it's filled with air, making it lighter than the water it displaces. Now scale that concept up dramatically. Each pontoon of the bridge measures an imposing 110 meters in length, 23 meters in width, and 8.5 meters in height, each weighing a staggering 11,000 tons. Despite their immense size, these pontoons are hollow, watertight structures meticulously crafted to maximize buoyancy. Inside, they are filled with air or sometimes expanded polystyrene, ensuring they displace enough water to remain afloat. To maintain stability, the pontoons are tethered to the lake bed using a robust anchoring system, preventing them from drifting while allowing flexibility to adapt to natural forces like wind and waves. Engineers equipped the pontoons with advanced sensors to monitor internal pressure, detect leaks, and assess structural integrity in real time. This proactive system ensures the bridge's longevity and safety enabling it to carry the load of thousands of vehicles daily without faltering. How do you build a bridge that floats on water and withstands the forces of nature? The construction of the Evergreen Point floating bridge was nothing short of extraordinary. Specialized machinery, including massive cranes and derricks, took center stage, lifting and positioning the colossal concrete sections with precision. At the heart of this engineering marvel was a technique called post-tensioning. Engineers threaded high-strength steel cables through the concrete and tightened them, creating a unified and stable platform. But why was this method so crucial? It ensured that the pontoons, the very foundation of the bridge, could form a stable and cohesive structure capable of withstanding the test of time. Every step in the assembly process required precise alignment of each pontoon to ensure balance and weight distribution. Even the smallest misalignment could compromise the bridge's stability. On top of that, the construction team had to prepare the bridge to withstand unpredictable forces like wind, waves, and seismic activity, ensuring its long-term durability. So, how does it stay ahead of potential issues? Advanced sensors and monitoring systems constantly track the bridge's structural health. These sensors measure stress, detect leaks in the pontoons, and even monitor weather conditions in real time. If something goes wrong, the system doesn't wait. It sends instant alerts to maintenance crews, ensuring the bridge remains safe and functional at all times. The innovation doesn't end there. Cutting-edge traffic management systems use real-time data to regulate traffic flow. Variable speed limits displayed on electronic signs adjust as needed, helping ease congestion and improve the driving experience. And let's not forget the bridge's eco-friendly features. An enclosed stormwater filtration system protects Lake Washington's ecosystem, ensuring runoff is treated before it enters the water. When constructing a floating bridge, one pressing question arises. How do you keep something so massive from drifting? The answer lies in its ingenious anchoring system. This marvel of engineering secures the bridge's pontoons to the lake bed using 58 steel cables each stretching up to 300 meters in length and as thick as a person's wrist. But these aren't just any cables. They're connected to three specialized types of anchors. Fluke anchors secure the bridge in soft soils. Gravity anchors stabilize it on solid ground near the shore. And drilled shaft anchors handle transitional areas where conditions are mixed. This system isn't only about holding the bridge in place. It's about withstanding nature's relentless forces. Wind, waves, and fluctuating water levels all test the bridge's resilience daily. <laughs> Picture trying to hold a balloon underwater. Without a firm grip, it would escape in an instant. The bridge's anchoring cables work on a similar principle. They're designed to be incredibly strong yet flexible, allowing the structure to move slightly with natural forces while maintaining overall stability. The Evergreen Point floating bridge isn't only anchored well, it's built to endure. 
Designed to withstand winds up to 143 km per hour, its elevated deck prevents wave interference. With wider lanes, shoulders for disabled vehicles, and a 4.3-meter pedestrian bike path, it improves accessibility, safety, and provides a lifeline for all. How do you ensure a bridge isn't merely functional today, but remains reliable for decades to come? The Evergreen Point Floating Bridge is designed with a 75-year lifespan, featuring a seismic dampening system to endure earthquakes, essential in this geologically active region. It's also future-proofed, capable of accommodating expansions like light rail to meet evolving transportation needs. Its sustainability efforts are equally impressive. The bridge features an enclosed stormwater system that protects the lake and integrates durability, adaptability, and environmental care. Serving 74,000 vehicles daily, it's a crucial link for Seattle and its suburbs, reducing travel time and boosting the local economy with innovative design and technology. So, what do you think of this floating wonder? Could this be the future of infrastructure in challenging environments? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more incredible engineering stories.